Hey girly girls and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a tidy up in the kitchen but I have managed to get a few bits and pieces of Christmas decor out. I obviously haven't yet finished doing all of my Christmas decorating but I do have a few bits and pieces in here. But I thought while I was in the kitchen that I would give you an update on my HelloFresh experience. I've had HelloFresh for about four weeks now. This is my fourth week. And I've got to be honest with you, I kind of got like a little bit of a mixed review on this product. Now, don't get me wrong, are the meals good? Yes. Are they value for money? I think so, yes. When I think about... Sorry, this is this week's recipes that I have. When I think about... The amount of money that I spend on meals per week for the family and I purchase about five meals um, a week with HelloFresh and to be honest with you do I think it's value for money yes I do okay so but the issue <laughs> is or the issue I've been finding when I've been speaking with my children is that um they kind of don't like the time it takes to make certain meals so they, they they get tired of waiting for meals and to be fair that's down to my choices the things that i actually choose um because really it does state on each recipe for example you can see there that this meal will take 20 minutes that one's 30 to 35 minutes and that this one is also 30 to 35 minutes and I guess it just basically depends on what type of meals that you have now I was starting to notice that the meals that I was picking tended to be potato heavy so it would always mean like I'd need to mash potatoes or to make chips out of them or fries and stuff like that and I think that's a negative side of HelloFresh the meals where um you kind of like want potato sorry the meals where you use chips i think it would be nice if the potato actually already came chipped or like frozen because hello fresh when they pack your boxes and parcels there are let me see if there's one in here yes there is actually so let me just remove that just remove some of these fresh items you will see this kind of material and that inside that that's packed full of ice and other ingredients so there'll be meat inside there so there's no reason why they couldn't have um potatoes in there or potato fries already in there just ready basically to be cooked or fried so you don't have to spend time peeling potatoes and stuff like that so that's one of my critiques of this um hello fresh um my hello fresh experience i do think the food is nice i do love the fact that the food is fresh um but yeah like i said the timings of the food oh yes another um issue that i have with hello fresh is that you tend to use an awful lot of your frying pans and pans and pots and pans and so you really have to ensure that you can't leave them over till the next day you have to bang them in the dishwasher straight away or wash them up straight away if you don't have a dishwasher because if you don't the very next meal guaranteed you're going to need even more pots and pans and before you know it your dishwasher really is full of a lot of stuff so you know that that's my critique um I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with HelloFresh because my children were also complaining saying, oh, we miss your meals that you do. Because to be honest, I was just trying to make my own life easier by having all these meals sort of like, not pre-prepared, prepared, but sort of like pre-measured out and stuff. So that all I have to do is put everything together and cut and season it and cook. Um, so yeah, my children have been complaining a lot, saying, oh no, no, we want your food now. So I was considering, because I don't quite want to give up this um, HelloFresh experience, I'm actually thinking about maybe instead of having five meals per week, maybe only having maybe three HelloFresh meals per week, and then I can make 
my own um, food for my children. As you can see, there's that ice in there. There's, sorry, let me just take a step back so you can see a little bit better. Then if you can see, there's look like meat in there. There's lots of ice packs. There's one, let me grab that one to show you. You can see there's lots of ice in there to keep the meats and stuff like that cool in there. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I ought to listen to my children, maybe only have three meals a week, which obviously will be a lot cheaper and it will mean, it will still make my life easier. It just means that I'd have to prepare my other meals that I normally make. So yeah, would I say it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'd say it's a sideways thumb, to be fair, <laughs> because it's got its positives if you've got a very busy life. Um, but it definitely also has its negatives. I mean, even when I'm looking over there in that corner, I've seen so much garlic there that I've not used. There's definitely a lot left over, which is good if you want to make additional meals or you want to take um, some food over for lunch. It's absolutely fantastic for that. But yeah, that's just a quick update on my HelloFresh experience. So overall, I think it would have to be a thumbs up if I was really grading it out of 10. I would definitely give it a solid seven. So yeah, now let's go up to my beauty room and check out, check out my Christmas decorations. Okay, so here we are back again in my beauty room. It does need another small clean up from my video, which I published yesterday on this gorgeous bag from Echo. Let me just turn that, sorry, not Echo, from Ego. Isn't she gorgeous? I've still got to clear up some of the infills that were in the bag and I have to move away some of these. These are like little gifts. These little koala bears are so gorgeous. They are battery operated. You put a battery in and basically, the, oh, they're gorgeous. They basically help your baby to sleep or if you know somebody who suffers with anxiety. And what happens is the little tummy bit there kind of lights up and it literally inhales and exhales and it sort of like mimics a very, very peaceful and relaxed type of breathing, which encourages sleep, apparently. So I've purchased one for my, for my brother's granddaughter and I've also purchased another one because my kids were like, oh, get one for us, get one for us. Sometimes I don't sleep well. And I'm like, come on, guys, you're you're not big babies. But mind you, maybe they are big babies. <laughs> so I purchased one for, the, for, for, for my kids as well, which they can share. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just a couple of presents. This is obviously the tree that I need to adorn. I still need to move some of my mess which i've just left there but i'm you know i'm going to do that i don't think i'm going to do a full complete decoration because I, I think i'm going to run out of time because over here like i've said before i intend to put huge uh pink bows on the doors um of my closet and over there as well i did it last year and it looked really really pretty so i'm definitely doing that again i'm going to be taking some of my decorations out of this little ottoman that I have here because I do keep some of my Christmas decorations in there and as you can see I have lots of pink and silver decorations um, although for some reason it's showing up a little bit gold but I can assure you it is definitely silver and um, pink baubles in there and that's what I did yesterday now I will be using obviously a lot of the pink baubles and maybe a little bit of silver but I'd also be interspersing it with I'll take some more decorations out here with these gorgeous pink and green mint green I call them um baubles which I can't actually remember where I purchased these from possibly from the range um so yeah I'm gonna get on with decorating this Christmas tree and try to make it look a little bit more Christmassy instead of just bare branches. So yeah, let's really, really roll right in. Okay, so I decided to take all of my Christmas baubles and decorations that were inside my ottoman out. 
because I wanted to just give you a closer look at some of my favourites. I mean, would you take a look at that? So pretty. And then there's this one here as well. It's one of my favourites. Look at the detail and the gems on them. Here's another one. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous pink toadstool with glitter inside. That's made from glass as well, that one is. So it's very delicate. I'm trying to be very, very careful. Oops, let me turn this one the right way to give you the full effect. Look at that. And it has such gorgeous, honestly, the light catches this bauble from every single angle and you can see a myriad of colours. It's just simply gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Have some love hearts there. I think I've showed you one like this already. But they're just so, so pretty. I have some really cute, a really cute cupcake one too. Some really pretty little droplets. I have various love hearts of different colours. Silver. I have this sort of like it's like a metallic pearlescent type of bauble as well really pretty here's a really gorgeous huge bauble this one's made from glass as well so i have to be really really careful with these that's why i leave them in my ottoman because they're quite safe there and of course i have this gorgeous star looks like a snowflake star and here are these are uh, these are gorgeous these pumps i think they're called pancettas anyway um i just pop these into the trees and make them look really really pretty and then obviously i'm going to mix them up with my new baubles here so i'm very interested to see how this is all going to turn out so yeah so let's get decorating One thing that I didn't anticipate is that I had to put all of these little pieces of gold threading through all of the baubles. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of baubles. Obviously, I'm not going to pop them all onto the Christmas tree, I don't think, because I already have so many baubles anyway. But yeah, I really didn't anticipate doing this, but I suppose I better get on with it. <laughs> Okay, so I've had to abruptly cut this decoration video short because I've just realised I simply just do not have enough green baubles. Um, as you can see, I've got so many pink, so many silver, so many different shades of pink, but you can only sporadically see the green and I, I kind of want a little bit more green. I've not really finished fluffing out my tree because I was trying to kind of arrange it to make you more able to see the green so i'm a little bit disappointed because i really wanted to get this video finished today but i'm clearly not going to be able to do that now so it's going to be a lot shorter than what i was anticipating just because i'm loving how this mint green looks so much that i want to see more of it i want less pink well not less pink but i definitely want to see more a lot more green and i think that will look really nice because i realize that it would go very very nicely with my train set which also has hints of green on it mixed with the pink so you know i'm going to try and get some more green baubles i don't know where i'm going to get them from um but i'm going to try and get some more and then i'm going to finish decorating this tree by the way, it took me an absolute age to put these little pieces of gold ribbon there through um, the loops on these baubles. But um, I'm going to continue doing it. Like I said, I've run out of green ones. I, I think I can see a couple of green ones down there, but it's just not going to be nearly enough. I want the green to stand out against the pink. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to do a nice big reveal at the end of this video but I will do it at 
the end of the next video when I finally get the bits and pieces that I need to make this the masterpiece I know that it can be. <laughs> So I do hope you enjoyed this really quick fire video, a lot quicker than I anticipated. Um, you, you know what to do if you did. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, share and hit that notification bell. But for now, ta-ta for now.